And I am going to make sure that Islamic terrorists are driven the hell out of our country. Hey, uh, Mr. President, President Trump, sir, uh, I have some unfortunate news for you. You gotta be kidding me, what? You said bad news? Yeah, go ahead and give me the bad news. Apparently, in front of your Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida, a sinkhole just opened up. Do you think God is trying to tell you a sign? Or do you think it's all made up by this liberalist group called Time? Who, by the way, is also a newspaper company and a magazine company as well. So you mean to tell me that there is a sinkhole in front of my Florida estate? What the hell is going on here? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. By the way, what are your thoughts on that? You tell the people at Time that I told them to tell you to tell them to go fuck themselves. Seriously though, that sounds good. That's actually a pretty good idea. And that way we can tell all these liberals out there that they can go fuck themselves and leave us hardworking Republicans the hell alone. Will do, Mr. President. Hey, Kevin, didn't you vote for Trump in the last election last year? He doesn't have to ask her that. Answer what? My best friend Wiley wanted to know if you voted for Trump and the Republicans in the 2016 election. Well, duh. It was either that or suffer into eternity with eight more years of Obama because that was pretty much what Clinton was offering in her campaign last year, which, by the way, was her worst failed campaign ever. And it was also the most disastrous Democratic campaign of any Democratic scumbag in the history of the world. Yeah, you tell him, Dad. Fuck Clinton. Go tell her to turn herself in so she can get prison for life for the crimes that she's committed against us. Damn straight. Huh? There's, there's jokes being cracked on my expense about my estate. What the hell? Huh? Wow. Let me think here. Uh... Yeah, I guess God was trying to send me a sign after all. That's strange. You can thank Chloe Angval. No, wait, let me try that again. Chloe Angyal. Yeah, you got it right, man. Circuit time is definitely the charm. Yeah, no shit. Watch your mouth, son. Next time I catch you coicing like that, I'm gonna wash your damn mouth out with soap. You understand me? Sorry about that, Mom. I just, I have a sailor's mouth, just like everyone else in this family. Well, you're only five years old. You too young to know that shit. Well, apparently he does now. You gotta check this out, man. Check it out. Apparently, Megan Holohan of today suggested that a pair of Alabama women ended up dying of electric shock while they were drowning. What kind of shit is that, man? Democrats like big billionaires now. Democrats like big billionaires. I oh, fucking forgot it. It's not gonna make a difference anyway. Anyway, last month on the day before Easter, a 34-year-old and a 41-year-old visited Lake Tuscaloosa to soak up the sun on a family dock. And then, of course, they died, and they disappeared, and after a search by the police, their bodies were found in a lake. And a rescuer tried to recover them and felt a jolt of electricity. According to an autopsy, the two women apparently died of electric shock while drowning, which is a lesser known cause of drowning. Can you explain to me why the hell that is? 
I mean, seriously, what the hell is electric shock drowning? Allow me to clarify for you. Electric shock drowning happens when electricity from a dock, boat, pool, hot tub or marina seeps into the water and electrifies it. As swimmers enter the water, the electricity paralyzes their muscles, causing them to drown. That guy is an absolute cock. And honestly, I just don't give a fuck no more. Hey, all of you, fuck off out of here! I mean, are you fucking serious right now? So who's the fucking smart ass? Apparently, Mr. Ramsey, or in this case, I should call you Chef, which is what I should have called you before. Oi, 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 you, come here. Come here, you. Oh, hell, here we go. Oi, so, so why didn't you call me Chef the first fucking time, you donkey? I didn't think about it, but I know my mistake now, and it won't happen again, Chef. I apologize. Oi, oi, look at me. There's no need to apologize because I've already accepted your apology. Now do me a favor and stop calling me chef from now on or fuck off. Yes, chef. And you know what's funny about that? The same thing happened to an eight-year-old son way back in 1995 or 1999 or whatever. It was 1999, dumbass. Man, shut up, you dumb fool! But anyway, the same thing happened to an eight-year-old child, supposedly a boy, back in 1999, if I read that properly, and he died while he was swimming in a river near a family boat. And nobody realized the electricity from the boat was seeping into the water until it was too late, and he received a shock that paralyzed him, so he ended up drowning. What the fuck, man? I mean, that makes no fucking sense there. Damn right, it doesn't make no damn sense. Ha, <laughs> man, it's Lucky Shunter from Fox News. So a trophy hunter has died after a wounded elephant crushes him in Zimbabwe. I mean, for reals, though. That's too much shit here. Hey, uh, Mr. Harvey, sir, I think that's starting to become a meme all over social media already. Right, well, well, let's, let's just flip that shit over. I guess that's the price that trophy hunter pays for hunting elephants in Zimbabwe, because apparently he did it before and he didn't die, but he pressed his luck one too many times and he got fucked to death. I mean, not literally, but you get what I'm saying. See? This is why I don't hunt big animals. Because they must bigger than me, and they're going to crush me in an instant and kill me. Break all my damn bones in my body. Then I'm in the morgue, and my bones are being donated for charity. Nobody got time for that shit. So there was a guy named Bartha who was apparently well known in the African country of Zimbabwe, recruiting Americans for trophy hunting. He was apparently 51 when he died, which is a tragic death because my father would not live to see 40, much less 50. Okay, now you're just mocking me. Shut the fuck up. What do you mean, man? What do you mean? I said, shut up, you fucking monkey. Okay, I'll stop. Don't, don't even, just disregard what I said, man. Fuck it. I don't give a shit no more. But anyway, he was a specialist in hunting leopards with hounds. And he pioneered the hunts using packs of dogs in southern Africa. Well, why the hell would he do that? Oh, it's real simple, but I can't say it on YouTube because it's not going to be considered advertiser friendly. See, you know how these YouTubers are. They want to post content online and YouTube's staff and administration refrains from letting them do that because of their own Illuminati sponsored ideas. See, these YouTube staff and administrators don't give a damn about people like us. We're just doing this for free. And yet they want to deem our stuff as advertiser unfriendly. I mean, seriously? Okay, man, you're just pushing your luck. I mean, hopefully no one in the YouTube staff will notice, but if this does get a lot of page views, and I mean this video in general, 
then you're probably going to have your channel terminated because of the mentioning of the staff on YouTube, which you just mentioned 30 seconds ago. I know what I'm doing, so shut the hell up and let me finish. I'm not going to dispute that. Go ahead, keep talking. I'll shut the hell up. And before I finish this video, let me point out that if you bought a $100 bill worth of Bitcoin in 2010, seven years ago, prior to this episode of Spot the Liberal being taped, you would be $73 million richer because the Bitcoin product has reached a new all-time high. Man, I don't believe in that Bitcoin shit. So I'm not even going for that damn shit. Hell, I don't even care. Don't worry about that stuff, man. It's all liberal talk. Okay, you know what? It's over. Fuck you guys. Hey, what did I do wrong? And what did I do wrong? And what about me? Did I say anything offensive? Yes, you did. You all have a good one now. I'm going to be coming back soon with another video, so you guys just stay tuned. Are you speaking on behalf of me? Yeah, I'm here to close it out. Okay, close me out then. Play me out. Yes, I'm proud to be an American! That's not what I meant, you dumbass! What I meant was, close them out with a simple goodbye. Oh, okay, man, that, that's just fine. Now play me out. See y'all next time on Spot the Liberal. You have a good one.